Thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Sarah Thompson, and I've been talking with Slaying Dragons, and now we're going to focus on their upcoming production of Long Day's Journey into Night. And I'm joined by actors Lavelle Thompson and Tom Moore. Thank you both for being here. Thanks for having us. Yeah, no, this is really exciting. In this first seg segment, we were talking with Helene, the founder, and Dr. Taka as well about Slaying Dragons. And now we're going to get into the specific production coming up in September. Now, this is a big Eugene O'Neill play, yes. Long Day's Journey into Night. Why don't you just remind, for people who their background of American playwrights isn't going, you know, isn't running right now, just give us a quick overview of the play. Absolutely. Um, so it's about a family um, grappling with the issues of opioid addiction. The mother, uh, her name is Mary Tyrone, played by Nancy Krause. She is actually the addict in the show. Um, but actually, Eugene O'Neill, because of his genius, he actually tackles two issues at the same time. So there's this issue of opioid addiction, and in addition to that, there's an issue of alcoholism that's suffered by the oldest, um, oldest son, who's actually playing my brother, and also by the father as well. Okay, all right, and we should mention, as we did, it was covered in the first segment, that the plays and the productions that Slaying Dragons presents are connected to mental health um, and mental illness, and in this case, opioid addiction and addiction. So maybe tell me about your character, and then I'm gonna kinda come to you, Tom, but start me off sure. and tell me about your character and what that character is struggling with and dealing with. Great, so uh, my name is Edmund Tyrone, the play. Uh, I'm the youngest son of the bunch and uh, he is dealing with um, his own issue as well. He's actually uh, ill, like physically ill. Um, and according to O'Neill's writing uh, and, and his notes, this character actually suffers from consumption is what it, would have, what it would have been called then. And today people would know consumption as tuberculosis. Okay. So he's suffering uh, from that illness. And you know, in general, uh, Edmund is really um, tasked with the responsibility, I'll put it that way, of trying to hold the family together. And in the beginning of the, of the play, Edmund is, he's more positive, you know, and, and he's, in some, some ways, he's naive because he doesn't want to actually believe that the mom has had a relapse, but she has, as we learn as the play progresses. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, and throughout the play, he's kind of, um, he's, he's defending her often, trying to, trying to fight everyone off. But by the end, he comes to grips with the reality of it, that mm. she has had a relapse, and he goes through a whole wealth of emotions. That's the best way to describe him. Sure, so. sure. And, that's, uh, and that is very parallel to and c connects to what people really do go through, obviously, yes. when addiction is in their family. And Tom, um, tell me a bit as well about the character you play and how you've sort of approached this. I mean, this is something, addiction, that we continue to talk about. It faces, if not a family, is directly somebody that they know. And so tell me about your character and how you've been dealing with this in terms of professionally on the acting side yeah. having this character but then what it's also made you think about well my character Sarah is uh, James Tyrone the father of the family I don't know if you can tell by my <laughs> age or not but <laughs> uh, and James Tyrone is fighting his own demons uh, he's dealing with um, drinking and alcoholism although uh, as you might know from any experience you may have had with alcoholism, there's a lot of denial in there. In fact, one of my lines is, I don't get drunk. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, he does. Mm -hmm. So there's alcoholism going on. Um, James Tyrone is an actor, as it happens. So I get to be an actor playing an actor. And uh, he is one of, considered one of the best actors of his time at that time. And uh, he's also having to deal with his family situation with the um, addiction of his wife. And she becomes addicted because of some issues she had after the birth of her second son, Edmund, and some medical and pain issues she had there. And as we've heard so often, opioid addiction can arise from legitimate medical treatment. Mm -hmm. and that's what happens here. Mm -hmm. Now, the challenge I found with um, James Tyrone is the fact that he's both subtle and really bigger than life, being an actor. He's right out there, but there's, there's a lot going on underneath. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, it's challenging, it's fun. Even though it's a serious play, 
uh, I'm finding it one of the more rewarding roles that I've played. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure for you both, being, you know, having the characters that you're performing, but also knowing the impact that this is going to have, it's probably been a lot to think about and process. But I appreciate you both for being here. I know you're headed off to rehearsals, so thank you for your yeah, time today. Thanks for having and us. good luck with the production, and thank you again for being here. Thank you, Sarah. All right, well, we've got the information there for you on the screen. It is Slaying Dragon's production of Long Day's Journey into Night. This is Eugene O'Neill's, one of his masterpiece plays um, and of a famous U.S. playwright. Uh, it's taking place September 13th through the 15th and the 20th through the 21st at the chapel in the Central West End at... 6238 Alexander. Is that in the, does that count? You're saying right at Skinker and yes, White Ass, correct? Right now, exactly. um, but that is the address there um, on the screen. For more information, though, don't take my word for it. Head to the website, slayingdragons.org. Again, head to the website, slayingdragons.org. And thank you again for being here. Well, there's more STL Live right after this. Please stay with us.